Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of State of Survival with Sticky Fan Gaming. And today we're going to talk about the new update that dropped that has plasma cores, which is pretty much the biggest thing with the update, and then some smaller, more minor tweaks. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Looking at the uh, email they sent out in the system mail, the different things that they've added is new Alliance Honor Buildings, the details regarding the honor buildings, uh, such as depending on your tier within the, what is it, Alliance Showdown and then the Alliance Throwdown events gives you different benefits for that. They added the plasma level feature for the buildings. So doing the uh, plasma level one star, two star, three star, and you can look more details into that. Basically, it's a comparison to buildings uh, 31 through 45 in other games. So that's basically them coming out with the HQ um, upgrades. Then they added new levels to the survival of fittest. So they added the star level to where if you're doing those plasma cores, you can get points in survival of fittest if you just wait for the event to come and you start doing it that way. And then they updated the daily task, which is pretty cool. They made it a little bit more easier to do the daily task. You get more points for doing the same things instead of having uh, less points and having a whole bunch of different things to do on a daily basis. That was kind of annoying. And then they added another language for folks to switch over to if um, if that's their native tongue. So a couple different cool updates here. Now looking into more detail for the plasma levels, basically um, the story is that uh, Becca has obtained a confidential data regarding Giga Quartz Plasma Core Tech. And if you use plasma cores in city buildings, you become stronger. Long story short, um, you for the plasma buildings, there are going to be the HQ building, the three different troop buildings, and then the hero precinct. For the troop buildings, it boosts how many troops you can train per building if you boost those up. For the... Um, Hero Precinct, it'll boost your attack. And then for the HQ, it will let you boost those other buildings. And then it'll also prestige your HQ. So one star, two star, and three star for your HQ. And then upon gaining three stars for your HQ and for your troop buildings and for your Hero Precinct, you will get um, kind of a new ability unlocked for your actual troops. So uh, some people are comparing it to T11 troops, troops, but we'll look at it uh, here really quickly. Let me go ahead and click over to it. Let me speed this up for you. All right, so I didn't have to speed it up. Um, as you can see, the ability for this one is Static Shockwave. Um, it gives riders uh, a 10% chance to do extra damage. So that's pretty cool, but you can only unlock it if you do three stars prestige and to do three stars prestige you have to go through one star two star three star but there are five sub levels as well so it takes quite a bit that's why people are comparing it to having settlement level 31 to 45 because it takes five levels to get to each different star and as you can see here how many um cells you need and I've been getting all my cells through grinding the uh, Intel, but you can also buy it as you can see here in the store. Um, it seems pretty affordable. I don't, I won't, I won't go into detail about how much it would be for X amount of plasma cores. I'll let you do the math. And this is a little cinematic that came with upgrading the HQ that I got from a buddy of mine. So um, I'll let you guys enjoy it. I didn't uh, get a chance to add the actual audio with it, so that's my fault, but um, you can still kind of see it. it. Looks pretty cool. I like the animation. Very crisp, and I like the colors. The concept is pretty uh, awesome, so yeah. I think this, is, this was a pretty good update uh, if you are a spender. If you're not, then it may not be as great. It's going to take you a little bit to grind those cores, but now for those alliance buildings if you look here in the territory section alliance territory you'll see the contender fist and you'll also see the showdown gold statue now as you can see the health for those buildings are infinite because those buildings cannot be destroyed and you can see the different type of benefits that each of those gives you here so 
gathering speed boost and then another gathering speed boost and because of my alliance's level in those two different events we only get about a three percent gathering boost so not much but it will help um so yeah the last update with the daily items the daily task basically they took some things out they kept other things and gave it levels to make it easier for normal players like you and i to get the daily rewards so check that out it is uh not too much to it so i won't go over it but yeah i'm super excited to see how the plasma cores turn out as of this recording there are about 26 people who have one who have one star hqs and i'm sure there's gonna be many more people to get it by tomorrow and the next day so if you're one of those folks who likes to stay with the competition you're gonna have to go get those uh, plasma cells really quickly if you're like me who's kind of going with the flow then feel free to take your time with it or maybe i'll go ahead and get it i don't know yet but until next time guys this was another episode of state of survival with sticky fang gaming